Do y'all got y'all soda? Do y'all got some snacks? You might want to get some because y'all already know. I got my soda. Okay, this is going to be a slightly, um, a slightly serious. Well, I don't know. I would consider it serious. But, um, this is going to be about manipulation. I do have notes written down because I took time to study it. So I would appreciate a big thumbs up just off of, off of the strength of that. When y'all hear me flip my pages, y'all will see what I mean when I say I studied it. I also want to say this. If you're going through more than half of what I've written down, you might want to get away from whoever the hell it is that's doing this to you. Another thing. It could be your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your uncles, your aunties, your grandmother, your teachers, your friends. It could be anybody, anybody that can manipulate the hell out of you. Manipulation is a verb. And the definition is control or influence a person or a situation that's cleverly and unfairly basically i could twist you all up real unfairly like um basically it's somebody who literally can change your mind right but it's flipped onto you okay okay all right manipulation in an intimate relationship can take many forms okay including exaggeration guilt gift giving or um selectively showing affection secret keeping and passive aggression and let me tell y'all something this passive aggression shit pisses me off or aggressive let me say that it pisses me off to the max Okay, like, I'm one of them people, I say what I say and I mean what I say, okay? I hate the people who signify they can't flat out tell you what they want to say. They want to be sneaky and smart ashes about it, okay? It pisses me the hell off. We just going to keep it rolling, okay? We're going to keep it rolling. This is what manipulators do, okay? They will guilt trip you. It'll be on some, um, uh, you don't love me because you did this, that, and a third. Okay? And they do that if they don't get their way. Like, if you're not conforming to what they want you to, then all of a sudden, oh, you don't love me. Oh, um, you're so selfish. But, like, I want to do this, but you want to do that. And you never do anything I want to do type situation. That's something to look out for because that... It's a lot, okay? And a lot of parents actually do this to their, their children. They do this a lot, and I always swore I wouldn't do that to my kids. I play around with my kids, with shit like that. But it's more or less, I'm trying to teach you something. Don't be around or deal with people who's doing this to you. And do not fall for it. Do not let them guilt trip you into taking responsibility for their actions. They'll make you feel like the situation is all on you when it's not. So don't take the damn responsibility of their actions. Only take responsibility for your actions. The silent treatment. It's so crazy how a lot of people use this as well. But... They'll ignore you to make you feel rejected. That way, you're like, oh my God. Like, 
What did I do wrong? Oh, and another thing about that. It works so well on people who have abandonment issues. Like the people who have experienced a lot of abandonment. You having the abandonment issues. You don't want to feel that rejection. You don't want to feel like, oh, this person's going to leave me. So what you do is you fight fire with fire. Here's what you do, right? You want to seriously act as if you're not bothered. Even if you really are, and don't show it. Don't show it whatsoever because it won't stop. They will continue to do this to you, and you will fall for it every single time. Fight fire with fire, okay? Seriously. I'm telling you, do not look bothered. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop doing what you're doing. And keep begging them to talk to you and shit like that. No, don't beg them to talk to you. Don't beg for their attention. And a lot of y'all are attention-seeking people. I am so not that person. I don't like attention like that. So, a lot of people hate that about me. Even my husband, he hates it. I'm not bothered, yo. I'm just not bothered. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not bothered. I don't care. Okay. A manipulator also tend to threaten you with shit. Okay. They basically um, do this to make, make you feel fear uh, what's going to happen next, basically. Um, obviously, it's to control you. But um, in so many words... When they're doing this, they're trying to control your actions because you're scared of what they're going to do. I'm going to tell you this. If you give in with this one, again, it won't ever stop. It will not stop. So if you feel as if they're going to follow through with their threats, how about this? You get the hell up and leave. Don't sit there and wait for some shit to happen. Get up and leave. Even if they hit you with the, well, I'll kill myself if you leave me. You still get your shit and go. But as you're going, you call 911 or whatever. Whatever your emergency thing, if you cross the country, whatever. But you call to get the police and ambulance there just in case. But you still leave. You don't even sit there and wait for them to come. You get your shit and leave. I'm telling you. The next thing is them lowering your self-esteem. They will put you down constantly. Very consistent. They literally will make you feel like shit. And you will start believing it. Like, if I consistently said, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're ugly, you're fat, that type of thing, to you consistently, I mean over and over, I'm basically beating this in your head, you legit will start believing it. That is extremely sad, to be honest. But again, <laughs> don't fall for that either. Because... Again, it's another way to damn control you. Basically, if you're one of those attention-seeking people, it will depend on their approval of their uh, attention, that type of thing. You don't want that. So what you should say to that is, don't talk to me like that. You continue to talk to me like that, and I'm leaving. You seriously need to make sure you put your damn foot down. Okay? 
And another thing, again, act very unaffected by what they're saying to you. Oh my God, and it's criticizing shit, right? And I mean like, big time criticizing you. This is done to make you feel inferior to them. Some criticizing is, is good. But the criticizing they'll do to you is the bad type. They will dwell on every mistake you've ever made. And they'll continue to throw it in your face. They'll point every little thing out. I mean, it goes above and beyond, okay? Again, that's to control you. Okay, let's, I'm going to stop saying a control thing. Y'all should get it by now. All of this is basically meant to control you. That's what manipulation is. But you need to ignore it. You seriously need to ignore it. Do not argue with them. Because that's what they want. They want that reaction. They want to know that you feel some type of way. Don't argue. And they will go even harder on you just to try to prove you wrong. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Don't argue it. Just be like, whatever. In your head, you already know you're right. So just say whatever to it. And keep it down pushing. Oh my God. And then the lying. The lying, y'all. They will lie about everything. Everything. I mean everything. And they will make you think you crazy. They will lie to you so much to where you really will start believing their damn lies. And then you would you will sit there and think you crazy as all hell. You can see them do something, right? But then when they come to you and they doing a whole line situation, you know what you seen. You will start thinking you crazy as hell. You would really be like, yo, did I really see that though? And them not telling you the entire story. This is different than lying. They're withholding the information. The important information of their story. They will have those parts of the story and tell you, basically they telling you some of the story, but leaving out the important shit. Oh, and they do that to make sure you had a disadvantage to it. They want you to be at a disadvantage with them. The uh, mood swings. They do this to make you fear what mood they're going to be in. Let's say you went to sleep. They been up, right? And you wake up. You're already in your head like, oh, oh my God, what mood is he going to be in when I go downstairs? Or what mood is she going to be when I go downstairs? And you basically start fearing it. And that's to control your actions as well. Because now you you literally walking on eggshells. You like got down. And you do it to not piss them off. I don't know if any of y'all ever heard of love bombing. I never heard of it until I started studying, right? Narcissistic people... Use this manipulation tactic to hook you and then ghost you. Meaning, which everybody should know what ghosting is. But basically, they'll make you love them, right? They'll make you think your relationship is perfect, right? And then all of a sudden, no phone calls, no more seeing them. They literally just drop off the face of the earth to you. And then you'll start thinking it's your fault. And then the whole punishing you thing. Now, this manipulation is a type of bitching, nagging, um, physical violence. Step to the physical violence.
but um it's um physical violence and mental abuse we already know that's a bad situation regardless there's manipulation to where they deny 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 they will deny anything well any and everything they're accused of any and everything they're accused of oh and they will flip the truth um sociopaths use this tactic more basically to suit themselves a lot of people do it that you don't got to be a sociopath you a lot of people do it a lot of people do it especially if you want to know people that want everything to work your out your way they use this a lot and they also do it to make themselves look better and minimizing playing down their actions they will play down some shit they did it could be something really bad and they'll play it down like oh i didn't do that or or yeah i did that but it wasn't that deep oh but it's that deep when i do it They're always the victim, too, just so you know. They are always a victim. They could punch you in the face, but it's more or less, oh, you make me do it. Like, you just said you don't care about me. That's some crazy shit. That's basically them trying to make you feel bad for them. You will end up feeling bad for them even though you're technically the victim. And it's like the same thing I just said with them playing the victim. Then they start pointing the finger at the real victim. The manipulator will make you have to defend themselves in order to control your actions. Y'all should get that. I mean, y'all should already get that. The manipulator got a way of buying you gifts. Basically gassing you, like, Oh my God, you're so beautiful. I'm sorry. I can't believe I did this to you and things like that. Then you start letting your guard down again and start to trust them all over again. But we know what happened next, right? We know what happens next. So the manipulator makes you focus on one goal. Oh my God, I hate this one too. I hate this one too. They will say, oh, well, I only... I only dislike the fact that you did you do this. If you could change this, then we'll be all good. You'll focus on that one goal, right? And then all of a sudden, when once you reach that damn goal, all of a sudden it's something damn different. It's something different next. It's oh well, I mean, you halfway changed this, but I said that I didn't like that. Okay, all of a sudden, again, you crazy. Not them, you crazy. <laughs> I hate this one, too. The version, yo. Let's say you address them about some shit they done. All of a sudden, oh, they changing the subject. And or they will flip it onto you. They will divert your attention to you. They will pinpoint something about you. Basically, they just moved the subject from themselves and put it on you or something else. And being sarcastic. The sarcasm is real out here, okay? 
they will make little sly ass comments when y'all in front of other people to make you look and feel stupid. So that lowered your self esteem just off the roll sarcastic ass shit they say. You already know about the guilt trip. They're making you feel bad. Yeah. The manipulator will charm the hell out of you. So you could again lower your guard, right? But then they stomp on you all over again. They will crush you all over again. Again, you're a piece of shit. But then it starts back up again. And then they'll play innocent. Oh, they innocent as hell. They innocent as hell. You go to them. You say, hey, did you do this? Here's the manipulator's reaction. Okay, you ready? I'm going to act it out myself. Ready? Did you do this today? What do you mean? I didn't do nothing. I didn't see that person. Or That's how they act innocent. They will act so shocked that you would even ask them that question. Here's the big one. Excessive rage. Basically, here's how they use this. They will rage out on you to the point where you're all of a sudden terrified now. You are terrified. You're terrified to say anything, do anything, because you're scared that they're going to rage out on you again, which can turn into physical violence. So now you walking on eggshells. It's just like the other thing I said about it. Like, you walking on eggshells. It's just like the mood swings. They will rage on you in order for you to all of a sudden submit to them. So now, you basically playing the, the, the puppy, basically. You're, you're under their control because you scared that they're going to do it again. Um, this is a doozy. And I see this done all the time. A lot, I know a lot of people who go through most of these. You can pinpoint them. There's an excuse for their, their, their mate's actions, though. But manipulators like to isolate you. Because obviously... The people who's watching this shit is going to say something to you like, like, why is he doing this or why is she doing that? They don't want nobody asking questions. They don't want nobody to actually give them facts about you. So they separate you from family, friends, anybody, anybody. Some people even make you quit your job to isolate you. They control where you go, who you talk to, like that type of thing. All of this is to control you. This is all tactics to control everything you do. Psychopaths, and I literally mean a psychopath, a sociopath, can pretend to love you. And there's a lot of people out here that don't even know they're a sociopath. Like, it's so crazy to me. That's another video. But, um, they don't have any empathy for anybody. They don't have no empathy for anybody. They have no feelings. So they will pretend to love you. They will spit the, oh, I love you so much. Again, they're gassing you up. Oh, I love you so much. I never had a girl or a man like you. Like those type of situations, right? But they honestly have, they don't even know what love is. They don't feel love. Again, they don't have no sympathy, empathy, or nothing for anybody. They only care about them. And they don't know any better. And I think that is so sad. 
I think that it's truly so sad because they will never ever experience the real feeling of love. It's a sad situation. Sad situation. It's a heartbreaking video, to be honest. Because, again, I know so many people who's going through this. I know so many people who is going through this right now as I speak. They know what's happening, but they ignore it. So many people say it to them, and they ignore it. And a lot of y'all think that it's mainly chicks that go through it. No, baby. Men go through this shit, too. Women use their sexuality. Women, well, they use their sexuality more than a little because they know that's what a man wants. So they're going to use that against you. Oh, I, well, you ain't getting this if you don't do that. They could do every single thing that I just told you about. They can do every single solitary thing that I just told you about. Don't think it's only females who go through this, as I said. So men, y'all need to be aware of what your woman's doing too. When it come down to manipulating you. Hopefully y'all really honestly learned something. I hope I reached somebody with this. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, y'all can... Drop me a comment and I, I will answer. I really will. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, comment, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every single solitary time that I post a new video. I greatly appreciate all y'all and all my new subscribers. Come join your family. And I appreciate the ones who do. You get a shout out every single time that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of y'all. I love all of y'all. I do this for y'all. Plus, it's a journal for me. But deuces.